<laughs> Hello, welcome to my channel. Hope you're all feeling strong and well. Well, I'm already out of breath. Only a couple of miles into this hike and I am going for a two-nighter. The weather, a little bit overcast. It's actually just fog, really. It's uh, early-ish in the morning and we are on Ilkley Moor. Not without my hat, got my hat, but it is a lovely day up here on Ilkley Moor. So yes, going for the two-nighter in this vlog. Will I do it? It's Easter time right now, so uh, we've got a lot of people about this morning, but I am certain they will disappear soon as I get into the middle of Ilkley Moor. If you're visiting my channel for the first time, welcome. Consider subscribing if you're enjoying this. A couple of vlogs ago, about a month ago, um, I tried for a two-nighter, wild camping on the moors for two nights. And it doesn't sound much, but uh, you have a go. <laughs> it was too early in the year for me. I am a three-season camper and it froze that night. And uh, the second night, I was absolutely exhausted. So we are going for that today. In this vlog, I am certain I'm not going to let you down. So stay with me. The sun is just starting to burn through that fog and it's gonna be glorious. We've got blue skies over that way. So that's the way I'm heading. <laughs> blue skies ahead. Now I've got my favorite backpack on. It's the Exos now. Is it the 65 or 85? It's the big one. It's the big one. I think it's, I think it's 85. So the Exos bag, it's there, look. And it's weighing in at about 13 kilograms. So pretty heavy. And uh, I'm so pleased to have it on my back. <laughs> so this little adventure that we are on in this, oh, it's there. <laughs> I nearly walked past this, I'll show you in a second. Yeah, this little adventure is loosely based on the Stanza Stones Trail. Now, if you haven't heard of that, um, there's some poems that are carved into stones along this trail from Marsden to Ilkley but I'm going the backwards way about. I started at the cow and calf at Ilkley and I'm working backwards. And uh, there's a poet called uh, Simon Armitage. He's from Marsden and he uh, writes poems, of course. And uh, he was commissioned to uh, have some of his poems, write some poems and have them carved into stones along this route. So it's the Stanza Stones Trail. And this is one of them poems and it's called... The Puddle Stone. The Puddle Stone. Nearly walked past it talking to you. Can't believe I've got to the Puddle Stone so quickly. So yeah, it's the Stanza Stones Trail. If you look that up, in fact, I'll put a uh, link in the description below to the Stanza Stones Trail. And you might want to do that hike from Marsden to Ilkley. Uh, it's about 50 miles. So it's a nice hike. I am doing part of it to get this uh, two-nighter in. So if I see any more of the, uh, of the poems, carved into the stones, I will show you them. Well, I'm only about three and a half, four miles into my 10 or 12 mile hike to the camping spot. I'm enjoying it, getting a little bit warm. I'm gonna be losing the jacket. There's still some people about, too many people about today. Just quiet right now, but I can, I can hear a family catching up to me because I'm taking a rest here. So uh, yeah, just gonna have a little bit of a rest. And I've got a special guest tonight. Uh, not a person, a special guest is the tent. You're gonna love the tent. So the rough sketch for this trip is that uh, I'm camping out, of course, tonight, about seven miles down in that direction. And um, the next day I'll be hiking down into a place called Bingley, into that town center and out up onto the moors. Should be able to pick up some supplies in Bingley. So that's the rough sketch. We'll be camping out the second night. Will I get the second night in? The second night we'll be camping out uh, somewhere near a reservoir. I've spotted a pretty decent place. Um, I haven't camped out there before. This place I have spotted before uh, my first campsite tonight and um, Hopefully that'll be a good spot. Interesting rock formations behind me. If you are familiar with the area, um, you'll know that, I think, <laughs> you'll know better than me because you're familiar. Um, I think it's the cup and ring. I think that's where I am right now, the cup and ring. And I'm gonna take a nice rest here. Would be a great place to, uh, to camp out. Look how flat it is. But you would have to ask permission from the farmer down there because we're really close to the uh, to the farmhouse. So good spot to camp though. I bet people have camped here. 
So we are near my campsite for tonight. Now, where is it? Can you see the, the ridge, the pointed ridge up there? That's where I'll be camping tonight. So that's maybe, it might be four miles away. I've got another four mile hike to get to there. So I'm gonna take a bit of a rest here, just enjoy this, who sheep about, and, uh, and then get on with the last part of the hike. It's a rare event. I do actually cook. <laughs> and what am I having? Beans and frankfurter sausage. I just cut these uh, frankfurter sausage up into the beans and I'm gonna enjoy that. And as you saw there, the special guest tent is the Vango 200 Pro. Excellent tent. Bit of a, an old one now, but uh, yeah. It's the uh, two mana, obviously. Bango Banshee Pro 200 Max is its actual name. And I've got the little tarp that goes with it as well. So that's keeping the wind off. I'm sorry that I'm in silhouette, but uh, I'll tell you what, um, we've got a problem. But it's not gonna spoil the camp. Let me just get out of silhouette for a second. Um, yeah, we've got to, uh, We've got ants down there. I've been getting bitten. Uh, I thought it was nettles, thought I was getting stung earlier on. Uh, but there's lots of ants, but they shouldn't get in the tent. Well, they won't get in the tent. So uh, onward. This is more like it. Long evenings. It's about 10 past six. And it's still light and it's warm. Fantastic. So there's the tent set up there, the Van Gogh 200 Max. Uh, great tent, I've had it for a while, it is an old tent, but it's an oldie bit goodie. <laughs> Did anyone say like me? No. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna give you a little look around, but I'm gonna take that tarp down. Let me just, uh, I've actually got a cup of coffee there, just enjoying that, but I'll come back for it. It's boiling hot right now. Let's just show you around this, uh, this setup here. What have we got on there? Flies, little oh, flies. A lot of big flies on the tent, but uh, there is the uh, the Van Gogh and uh, the tarp that comes with it. It is a tarp that, that came with the tent and I tried it out. It's pretty decent actually. It's very lightweight. It comes with this, uh, this pole and uh, all the guy lines. But down here we've got all the ants crawling around. So I'm going to have to make sure they don't get in the tent. So I've got the tent fastened up. I'm going to take this tarp down because it's of no use really. I was, I was going to cook in there, but you know, a nice little place to cook there on the wall. So back to my coffee. There's actually a trig point over there. So some of you might know where I am. We'll try and keep these locations a little bit more uh, secret. But look at my view. He says, showing everyone where he is. Uh, look at that view. Amazing view. So tomorrow, tomorrow we hike down. We hike down into Bingley. We go along the canal. We're gonna have a nice canal walk tomorrow and uh, head on into Bingley. Might be able to get some supplies when I get into Bingley and then up onto the moors over the top for the second night. Well, that is about it for today. I've just watched the sun come down. It's not quite down as you can see, but uh, I am tired and I've got an early start in the morning. I think it gets light at about five o'clock. So uh, I'm tired now and I really want to get into the tent, into the sleeping bag, using sleeping bag tonight. Uh, not messing about with the honcho poncho and the quilt. Just want to get a nice warm sleep. Uh, the honcho poncho and the quilt, of course, will be brilliant uh, later on in the year. But tonight we're in the Van Gogh 200 max there it is without the tarp that you recognize that tent and uh, yeah just going to get in there and get some sleep up early in the morning um, for an early start and tomorrow of course we will see if i get the two nighter in the second night while camping so i will see you in the morning
Good morning. It's a little bit cold, nowhere near as cold as it has been. Got some moor hens here trying to hide and startle me. <laughs> They're just there. You might not be able to see them. You might see them fly off in a second. There they go. Uh, so yeah, it's a little bit cool this morning, but nowhere near as cool as it has been. Uh, slept quite well, and I'm really looking forward to getting on with the hike today. I've got I've got about a 12 or 13 mile hike to the next um, camping spot for the second night. Uh, I'm just going to take you over, show you this trig point. Have a look at this trig point up here. So yeah, slept well last night. Going to get a coffee on in a minute. Uh, what's the time? It's, uh, I've been up since six and it's uh, 10 to seven now. The sun is trying to uh, make an appearance over there. Hopefully it will by the time I've had my coffee. My face is a little bit cold. Let's get over to this trig point. Come on. Can't wait to feel the heat of that sun. I was looking last night over towards the trig point and there's a path there. You can just see that little path there. Not many people walk on it, but that would be the way that people would come in to view the uh, trig point. And uh, I thought that I'd be really visible from, from the trig point, but I'm right over in the corner there and you can't even see the tent. You can just see it. Uh, yeah, it's surprising how stealthy the Van Gogh is. The Van Gogh Banshee, brilliant tent. There's still a little bit of mist in the valleys down there and I'll be walking down into that later on. And I hope you're gonna join me and see if I can get this second night in. So back to the tent, let's get some coffee on. The sun is a lot higher in the sky. It's getting warm now. We're all packed away. This is the space here, leaving no trace, but some flat grass. We're all packed away. Can't wait to get this uh, heavy bag on my back. <laughs> the sticks are gonna help me and I've got an apple to help me down the hill as well. So I will see you probably on the canal. Uh, let's get going. Are you going to say it, or am I? God, that stinks. Jesus. It's a deer. wonder what happened. It's my favourite cows. Love them. Not. What's this one doing?
did you see that deer? There was a lady stood there looking into the woodland and she said uh, there's a deer over there. Spotted it. I don't know whether you could see it on the GoPro lens. Hope you could. But uh, I thought then I shall come into this little bit of woodland for a rest and maybe the deer will come back along here. But uh, we had a walk along the canal. I hope you enjoyed that. And you saw the Bingley Five Rise Locks. Um, I enjoyed a little bit of a mooch around there as well. Still got a fair few miles to do, but I'm going to take a rest here. Just checking in on you. This is a difficult part, it's all uphill. It's been uphill for quite a while. I'm just crossing, I think it will be Bingley Golf Course. Just crossed that, going into woodland again now. Uh, I'm finding it difficult, the sun's out, it's quite hot. It is a lovely day. This is uh, quite gruelling. Right, I'll see you when I get to the top, when it flattens out. So you might be able to see behind me, there's a campsite lovely little campsite just had a look around it <laughs> i nearly failed i nearly failed because i uh i got talking to a couple just across the moor here i was just having a rest really tired i've still got quite a way to go to my actual uh, wild camping site and they mentioned this um this campsite and <laughs> i was hungry and tired and i just went into it and i thought will i get a pitch will i will i get a a pitch to uh, camp tonight and use their amenities. They've got a pub, they've got a restaurant, they've got everything. <laughs> I've just been in and uh, and yes, they uh, they did actually, uh, they did sort me out. 10 quid for a little spot and uh, I was in between all these camper vans and, and, uh, <laughs> and caravans. And when I sat there just gathering myself, I could hear all the noise of the people, the families, lovely families all having a good time except for me it was too noisy i just i thought what am i doing what am i doing here so i went and got my 10 quid back and uh used the uh used the cafe and that had a nice uh, a nice drink there and um i'm revived and i'm back on the trail and i am going to get this uh this second night in so i nearly failed <laughs> Right now, I cannot believe that I was contemplating staying at that campsite. It's been quite a hike right back in Bingley. It's been all uphill and it's been, it's been an ordeal. Feeling it. Oh. Can't, I can't get out. Yeah, I was feeling the pace and uh, it was so tempting to stay on that campsite, but blimey, the noise. And now look at me, back up in the peace and quiet, and my backpack has finally stopped squeaking. Do you ever get a squeak when you're walking? It squeaks to the rhythm of you walking. It starts to do your head in. I put my bag down a couple of times trying to suss it out what it was, but I thought it was my water bladder, but it wasn't that. But anyway, it sorted itself out. Enough of that. Uh, back on the moors, peace and quiet. And uh, I will be camping out at a reservoir, not that one down there. There is one over the moor there. Uh, you can't see it right now, still got a ways to go. And it was that that was so daunting, this, this last bit of the hike. But I am doing it, this is gonna happen. So yeah, we've got a reservoir uh, for the wild camp site tonight. Um, I am just about out of water. I should of course be able to get water at the reservoir but I would prefer to find some running water to fill the water bladder instead of having to fill it in the actual reservoir. Sometimes it's a little bit sort of weird. A little bit, uh, around here it's actually brown, the water's brown because of the peat. But there might be some running water further over here because there's a bit of a, well it's called a conduit that joins up the reservoirs and uh, you get some fast flowing water there. So. That might be a bit better. Let's see how we go. So that is the conduit that I was talking about. And it sort of links up all these little reservoirs. We are in an area known as 
the watershed because of all the water and all the reservoirs. So uh, there should be some running water further along the conduit and I'm going to collect some there. Okay, let's have a look at what the colour's like. Not too bad, he's a bit yellow. So that's it, we've got water. I will try at the reservoir, but it might be a little bit more difficult to get to, so always best to get it when you can. I've got still quite a bit of walking to do and I can feel the weight of that water because I'm tired. If you remember at the beginning of this vlog, I was telling you about Simon Armitage, the poet from Marsden and the Stanza Stones poems that are kind of loosely along this trail. I'm not following exactly the Stanza Stones trail, but there is one of the other Stanza Stones up there. I think it's called the Mist Stone. Uh, you might be able to see that cairn up on the ridge there and the uh, the Mist Stone, I think it's the Mist Stone, is up there. But uh, I'm not going up there. <laughs> I've actually visited it. If you want to look up my uh, Stanza Stones uh, vlogs, I did visit all the Stanza Stones. We've got the squeaky bag back. Can you hear it? Can you hear that? It's <laughs> so annoying. Uh, right, uh, the reservoir is way back there. I followed the conduit along here because there were quite a few people around the reservoir. It is a bit of a beauty spot and it's popular with bird watchers. Did actually uh, talk to a couple of guys. Really nice to talk to you guys. They were uh, avid bird watchers. Uh, interesting conversation. Anyway, um, I've decided to walk further on and uh, find a campsite, a wild campsite out here. Now it is bleak. So uh, I'll get back to you when I found somewhere because you can see the sun coming down. Well, this is home for the night. Um, look how bleak it is. I'm hoping that this down here is going to be spectacular in the morning because the sun is setting over there. So down here, we should have a spectacular sunrise and I'm pitching my tent just on this little brow here. So all I can find, I'm running out of time. So it's a shame that the reservoir was uh, full of people. There were people parked up. Uh, bird watching and uh, just watching the sunset really which hasn't really even set yet so I'm gonna get pitched up I'll get back to you when I'm pitched up and voila there is the tent <laughs> the fantastic Van Gogh Banshee Pro 200 max and I'll be sleeping in that tonight second night two nights it's gonna happen so uh, see what my view is like in the morning I am absolutely exhausted and I'm getting in that tent and getting to sleep Looking forward to seeing you guys in the morning when I will have done my two-nighter. Sounds easy, you do it. Good morning. It was a bit of a rough night last night. It rained on and off um, all night. Quite heavy as well and it was quite windy. Let's have a look at the, the view. Instead of my tired face, not much of a view. quite nice. It's still soaking wet though. I'm going to have a chat with you when I get out of the tent. I'm packing away. Okay, I'm out of the tent. It is freezing. The old phalanges are taking a bit of warming up. Uh, so I'm going to drop the tent now. Most of the stuff is packed away here. And uh, I will be hiking back towards the reservoir. I'll give you a look at the reservoir um, on the way back. But let's get this tent dropped and uh, leave no trace. Well, it's looking like it might rain. But the sense of achievement is what I wanted out of this 
two-nighter and I managed to do it. Yes, did two nights. Like I said before, it might not seem like a lot. It's quite a lot for me because things are so comfortable at home. <laughs> I, I can't wait to get home. So it was pretty barren. I've got rain coming, definitely. I can see it over there. My lass is on her way to pick me up. You can see the road kind of up on the top there. She should be coming along there anytime. I'll be looking out for her. But I'm really glad that I've done the two-nighter. How bad would I have been feeling? How guilty if I'd stopped at that, uh, that campsite. I wouldn't have this feeling now. So it's been a nice little adventure for me. Uh, out in the cold, out in the sunshine as well. Most of it was sunny. Got to say it was glorious. That first night was lovely. And the hike after, hard but uh, nice and sunny. So uh, I've really enjoyed it. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this little trip as well. I promised you I would do the two nights. <laughs> and uh, I did it. So uh, that's about it for this one. Uh, like I say, I really hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, put your comments in the comment section below and I will be planning another trip. Maybe my last will be out with me on the next one, maybe. Uh, but yeah, I've got a few more trips uh, lined up, a little challenges. And uh, yeah, that's about it for this one. I upload vlogs at least once a month. So if it's the first time on my channel and you haven't already subscribed, consider subscribing. For all my new subscribers, welcome. Hope you're enjoying the channel. And for all my faithful uh, subscribers and viewers, uh, thank you for continuing to support my channel. I'm really getting a lot out of uh, my uh, YouTube channel. Like-minded people. So that's it for this one. I don't really know where I'll be next, but I do know I want you with me. So until the next one, bye.